In late 2013, I was having lunch with my friends from college. One of the guys, Christian, used to smoke two to three packs of cigarettes per week. He was a chimney with two legs. To my surprise, he started talking about a little-known secret he used to stop smoking. He said he wrote in a piece of paper all the reasons why smoking was bad for him. For example, smoking gives you bad breath, smoking causes lung cancer, smoking is expensive and smoking makes you a slave to your cravings. He said he wrote at least 100 reasons and the more reasons he wrote, the less attractive smoking seemed to be. Most of the times, we stick with our bad habits because we are not fully aware of all the harm they create. Christian knew that smoking was bad, but not how bad it was. It turns out that when he listed all the reasons why smoking was detrimental, he found it way easier to quit. He was now aware of how stupid smoking was. Christian taught himself how to reframe his bad habit. He successfully changed his outlook on smoking just by writing and reading all the negative consequences he was exposing himself to. If he could do it, so can you. All your behavior is driven by various innate human desires. See, every human needs to satisfy various needs. Some of them are feel safe, feel comfortable, feel successful, feel healthy, feel loved, and feel appreciated and valued. Notice that all are related to feeling something. Different people will find different ways to satisfy the same need. For example, one person can feel successful by winning trophies and competitions in a video game. Another can feel successful by getting an A on his or her test. The need is the same, feeling successful, the behavior will be different. One will choose video games while the other studying hard. What this means is that every bad habit you have is just a strategy your body uses to fulfill a human need. So, be careful, because if you don't satisfy your needs consciously, your body will find a way to do it, usually to your detriment. Your brain is lazy and likes pleasure, so it will tend to adopt whatever behavior satisfies your needs with the most amount of pleasure. Once your brain finds a pleasurable way to meet an innate human need, it will always come back to it. For example, let's say that you feel lonely and want to feel connected with other people your brain will immediately start to seek for a solution to this problem. So, you decide to message 5 friends on Instagram. As soon as they respond, you get a sense of belonging and connection which triggers the release of reward chemicals in your brain. The next time you feel lonely, your brain will not have to work hard for a solution because it has already found one in the past and it's messaging your friends. This means that your current behavior is dependent upon the meaning you gave to your past behaviors. If drinking made you forget about your pain, then drinking equals good. If smoking reduced your anxiety, then smoking equals good. If social media made you feel popular and desired, then social media equals good. These are all subjective interpretations of a behavior. Meaning is what drives behavior, not a substance. The substance is only the means to satisfy a human desire. You don't really crave a soda, you crave feeling the pleasure sugar gives you. You don't crave Instagram likes, you crave social validation. You don't crave watching porn, you crave intimacy and bonding with another person. Your bad habits are just modern solutions to ancient desires that have always existed. So, how can you apply this to break a bad habit? Let's talk about that. Just as my friend Christian did, I recommend you write all the reasons why your bad habits are harmful to you. I also suggest focusing only on one bad habit. Let's say that you're addicted to soda. Your reasons could be the following. 1. Soda causes diabetes. 2. Soda causes obesity. 3. Soda causes high blood pressure. And 4. Soda contains chemicals and additives that are not healthy. I also suggest you write all the reasons why quitting this bad habit could be beneficial to you. The benefits of quitting soda could be 1. Save money. 2. Lose weight and be more attractive. 3. Having lower chances of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. Now that you have your reasons written out, you need to read them every day. Repetition is the key to instill these new meanings in your brain. This video is lesson number 8 of the Self Mastery course. Make sure to check all the previous lessons to learn everything about how habits work. This video was inspired by the amazing book Atomic Habits. Make sure to grab a free copy of this audiobook with the link in the description below. 
I think it's the best book you can listen to if you're serious about changing your behavior for the better. Go grab the book right now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a good thumbs up to support the channel.